Hello and welcome to Wake Up America. In this election year, the number one concern for most Americans is our economy. It has been almost six years since the economy recession began, and the current state of the economy continues to lag. There are many factors that go into our slow economic recovery, including the decimation of our manufacturing base and the middle class due to free trade. One thing that has added to our delayed recovery is the massive weight of debt that the average American has. Up next is a special report on student loans. One thing that has added to our delayed recovery is the massive weight of debt that the average American has. For many young Americans, student loan debt has become a significant concern. The total student loan debt is now well over one trillion dollars, leading many to wonder if this is another bubble that might burst and send us back into another recession. Currently, 10% of student loans are in default per year. If something happens and that number were to increase, it would have a significant impact on the economy. Lenders would be less likely to lend money to students, leading to a crash for in-profit institutions. More individuals would have poor credit, making it harder for them to secure loans for cars and homes in the future. It also means individuals don't have the money to pay their basic bills, let alone buy more things which would drive down consumer spending. Some have proposed solutions to help keep student loans down, including refinancing options to lower interest rates to remove some of the burden. The best solution though will be a stronger economy. As free trade has taken away good middle class jobs, it has also diminished wages leaving those left with jobs making less than they did before. Free trade means unrestricted, uncontrolled access to our economy, tariff and duty free, for goods made for $4 per hour or less. We cannot compete with these wages, so we are forced to choose between going bankrupt, outsourcing nearly all of our manufacturing, or simply selling out. This has led to an anemic recovery with most jobs coming in service sector positions. If we restore our economy by doing away with free trade agreements such as NAFTA and implementing fair trade agreements and legislation that protects the American economy, unemployment will decrease and wages will increase allowing more people to be able to pay their bills. We must act now to restore America, and that begins with doing away with free trade agreements, such as NAFTA. Contact your congressional representative and let them know that we must fix America today.